Hi guys, my name is Mary Chris and thank you for coming to my channel. And for today's video, I would like to do a get ready with me while discussing the pros and the cons of my 30 day vegan challenge. I don't know off the top of my head what day I am, but I will just put a text right here somehow and I'll let you know the exact day. But I know it's more than 12 days because I did an update on Instagram and that was the 12th day. So I know for sure it's more than 12 days. And because I'm such a noob and one of the things that I want to improve with my um, speech is just have a continuous thought. I have a problem with so many things going on in my brain and I would like stop, interrupt my own thought and say other things. And so let this is what my 50th time probably shooting this, filming this. And so I hope this is the last. Let's pray. There. <laughs> Anyways. So I would like to do a get ready with me and I just want to give you guys a little bit of backup story because as you can see, I already have my brows, my foundation, my concealer. I have a little bit of a contour going on already, actually. I'm looking up that there because I have a mirror behind. Okay. So, since I already did that, that's okay. It's still a get ready with me. I'm actually going out with the fam. So, I want to do a quick... This is just going to be a quick look. It's probably just going to be a mascara. And lipstick kind of deal today I don't even want to do an eyeliner I've wasted enough time okay so one pro of being vegan is I'm more inclined to eat vegetables so that's a pro and be the reason why it's more in, I'm more inclined to eat vegetables is that obviously I cannot eat the meat and vegetables are very 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 filling and satisfying and so I get to eat more of them I when I eat meat and when I'm an omnivore just eating like salami we always have salami and cold cuts because that's what my family eats and because it's so easy and because it's just right there you know when you're hungry you don't have a choice you just eat whatever you want or just jump chocolate oh that's another thing when i'm an omnivore i just go to the really easy things to eat that's satisfying at that moment and I have a feeling dairy makes me bloated because since I stopped and it's been more than two weeks now, I'm going on three weeks. I've definitely retained a lot of water when I do drink, have dairy. I don't drink milk, but like with cakes and stuff, cookies and other food items that have dairy because I can even tell in my workout clothes that I'm not as like pudgy, I guess is a word. I don't know how else to describe it, but I can see I'm a little bit tighter and a little bit like my workout clothes look nicer on me. And I will explain more stuff of how I want to um, track my progress in a later video just to make this short and sweet. I don't want to record this anymore. <sighs> this YouTube is hard. You know what, guys? Just to sidetrack on a different note, I'm impressed with those TV hosts on TV and to do it live. Anyone that does it live good for you good for you because i need to practice that a lot to do that 
I don't know if I'm even able to do it. Probably, I mean, anything is possible when you practice hard enough. So back on the Get Ready With Me, I'm just gonna use this contour palette by Lunatic Cosmetics. My ride or die, for sure. I've tried um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I thought that was really good, but this one's better than that. Again, getting sidetracked. Um, another thing about, good thing about pro of my vegan, dirty vegan is I'm more inclined to eat more vegetables, fruits. I, I just said that. <laughs> um, and I eat less processed food and less salty food because when I'm an omnivore, I eat Filipino food because it's friggin delicious and but the problem with that is at that time I didn't know how to make my I use I rely on the packet mixes and they have I just literally just read the ingredients of it yesterday because I was decluttering my kitchen and the first ingredient of the sinigang mix is salt and MSG. You would think for me who learned how to cook and got um, went to we had a nutrition course that I would read labels. And I'm pretty usually good. I'm, <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at reading labels. But for that, for Filipino food, I just... I just trust it and I just like whatever it doesn't matter it's gonna taste good so oh my gosh was that there the whole entire time that was my paper towel um yeah and was, and then I think that's a factor too of me not being so you know pudgy and a lot more tight is because I think I've been retaining a lot of water because of the salt. So I don't, I think it's a combination of the salt and dairy for sure. And of course the cold cuts doesn't help. And so it just forces me to eat better when you're, when I'm, when I'm vegan. It just forces me to eat better. But let me go to the this, to the con, this, bleh. Cons. What are the cons of being vegan? Or what are the challenges for me for my 30-day vegan challenge? Is my family eats meat and sometimes I get tempted, but I don't. I haven't cheated or anything. I haven't. I've been very good. But sometimes I do get tempted when I have, you know, it's not so good. Well, my husband's cooking and so... I'm like, oh, I want to eat that. But luckily for me, I have a very understanding. Oh, look at that. It's crease. Crease central. I have a very understanding husband. So he does make me side dishes. I cannot expect him to cook for me. Actually, he does. He cook vegan stuff for me. But I feel bad too because he's already cooking for the kids. And so I don't want to just rely on him and so that will take me that will segue to the other con the other con is i'm eating out a lot vis-a-vis -vis uber eats <laughs> because of this 30-day vegan challenge i mean i'm ordering healthy food like thai food vegan thai food vegan burger but i always have vegetables on the side it's very very important because one one of my advice of the doing the vegan challenge is you need to eat a lot of vegetables because it will make you feel fuller for longer and i actually switched from white rice to brown rice because it's a lot more filling so i was i was i saying yeah my family eats meat and um I eat a lot of takeout, <laughs> but it is healthier. I feel I I order healthier food because they're like Thai food that I would buy has a lot of veggies. It's always veggies, veggies. It's just different flavors, and so one thing I need to improve upon is 
I need to just do more meal prep. So I wanted to just do a background of my history with veganism in general. I've tried veganism. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I've tried veganism already. Um, last year it was on and off, and it's the same struggles that I have now because eating is such a social thing, and sometimes I would feel just left out, and I still have cravings. But and I used to beat up myself myself up for these cravings, but. I've been omnivore most of my life. Of course, I'm going to crave meat. So, what am I going to do? So, if I really, really crave it really badly, sometimes I give in. But I really just want to be healthy. And I notice that my best self is when I'm vegan. I'm actually debating whether I want to... I'm debating whether I want to extend my vegan challenge. I don't know. How do people get ready, do makeup, and talk? They do such a good job because I'm clearly failing at this. So I'm gonna, I use that one for my like contour on that side, and I'm using this lighter gray tone just for my nose contour. <sighs> One of the things, let me just think. Yeah, lots of take out. And the cravings. The cravings is a struggle. But one of the solutions I have is I just need to make sure I'm eating enough food, enough calories that I'm satisfying myself. Because as soon as I eat, the cravings go as soon as I eat fruits and veggies, especially the cravings, they do go away. Oh, and I'm using the brush that I got from BoxyCharm. I got lots of good stuff from BoxyCharm. I love my BoxyCharm. And this month, I'm actually challenging myself not to look at any videos of BoxyCharm because I want to have a nice reaction. And note to self, make a script. <laughs> I'm reminding myself I need to make a script or something because my brain is just like... <laughs> my theory is why my brain is like this because I have to multitask all the time. My theory of why my brain is ADHD where if there's so many thoughts at the same time, is I'm so used to multitasking because my job involves me multitasking and I'm great at it. But I think once I sit down and gather my thoughts, it's like, ah, I'm thinking of different thoughts all at the same time and it's not <laughs> good for YouTube, but it's good for my other job because I can, it's good for my actual job because I can remain calm, collected, and still able to do plenty of things at the same time and do them well. So that's my contour. And is there any more update of the vegan? I think that's about it, I guess. <laughs> I can tell you guys. Oh, my running. I, I want to add that in while I'm getting ready. I was, a, my plan was running <laughs> for this week, three times a week. I only ran once, but I went to the gym three times. I did weight training three times and I've just been so busy. So if you haven't done your goal, don't beat yourself up. I've been through this journey of health and fitness on and off, on and off. And I just want this to be the last time. I want to get to my ideal fitness. But do I regret kind of failing or starting over again? No, because I think that's life, you know? At least you're trying. Even if you think you fail, if you try again and work at it at the different level or work at it at the different angle and you're improving yourself, I don't think it's 
failing. You're trying again, and that's what I'm doing. Is I'm just trying over and over and over again. And using lessons that I've learned in the past and utilizing that for my next plan of action. So, yeah, so I think it's okay. I don't think I'm gonna, f and maybe, you know what, I'll be finishing up. Um, how about you guys? Have you guys tried the 30 day vegan challenge? And how was it for you? And what was your challenges? It's mainly, I think for me, it's the social aspect of it all. Because when you're out, and also the feel of missing out, right? The FOMO, the FOMO. You're like, oh, I wanna eat that chicken, it's so good. Actually, oh, another thing is Jollibee just opened, I believe today, that was in the news. They've been saying they're opening for how many years now that I don't even trust the, the updates for that. But uh, yeah, they were supposed to open today and I'm so tempted to eat a bucket of chicken. <laughs> Of chicken joy! I want to eat chicken joy so badly, but I know that it's not good for me. And so I'm still holding strong and I'm not going to go eat chicken joy right now. Who knows? I'll do a mukbang if I do eat chicken joy. Guess why not? But. And, oh, and one more thing I like about B vegan is I drink a lot more water and I haven't been drinking pop because I've been eat Uber Eats is so convenient but also so incredibly unhealthy to have it's just on your phone and you're just like bloop, bloop, bloop. press your phone whatever you want to eat and it's at your door it's not good it's not good for the wallet it's not good for your health especially before because I would order McDonald's oh my gosh their fries are so good but now because I haven't been using uber eats or I actually no, that's a lie <laughs> I have been using uber eats for vegan food but I've just been more encouraged to drink less pop I haven't drink drank pop for this whole entire time and I think that's another reason I think it's a multitude of reason while 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 why I'm tightening up and you know looking better is that no pop for 12 days no dairy no meat no animal product and way less salt because i'm not using those packets so when i do cook filipino food in the future i'm gonna make sure it's made from scratch and guys don't use those packets they're not good they're not good for you trust me i know i had to learn the hard way so don't make the same mistakes as me i'm just trying to look how many more minutes do i have i think okay i think i have a little bit more so i'm just gonna do the mascara and i'm almost done because that's all i'm gonna do the mascara and what else it's not gonna work There. The mascara and I think just the lipstick. I don't even know what kind of lipstick I'm gonna use. Oh, I didn't even do blush. It's okay, I've talked. I talked enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the blush quickly, I guess. How many more minutes? 31, I'm 24. Okay, that's not that bad. I have a little bit of time. Let me do this quickly. I've been consistent with my working out and I'm really proud of myself. Look at this clump. Look at that. That's clump realness.
Also, happy Easter to everyone who's celebrating Easter. Happy Easter. We're going to have a big Easter dinner. The hubby's going to cook. You know what, guys? I love this mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Ooh, back up. It is pricey, but for me, with my lashes, can I say it's worth it? I guess it's worth it. And it lasts me a long time because I barely put makeup on. Oh, and this is what must found, not foundation, blush. I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics. When I got this, I'm BoxyCharm. Guys, I am back. Just to finish up this look, I'm going to do for lip liner, the Rimmel. Ooh, I'm too high. That's better. Yes. Okay. The Rimmel Long Lasting fin Finish Lip Liner in Natural. I really... I can't find my sharpener, so that's why it's like, look at that. Uh, that's not even worth it. I still you know, this heart is so good. Okay, this is almost the exact same color as my lips, so you can't really see. My lips, but better. My lips, my better kind of look. <laughs> uh, okay. Today's filming was a struggle and a half. And then I'm gonna do the 555 Naked Coral Matte from Maybe It's Maybelline. Is it Maybelline or is it CoverGirl? Maybelline. Should I swatch? I guess I'll swatch here. It's like a pink, neutral pink tone. Lipstick. And because my lips are so dry, even though I've been drinking a lot of water, let me do a gloss and this is the, oh, this is a liquid lipstick. I guess why not? Anastasia Beverly Hills. Ooh, ooh, wrong match. <laughs> but we'll make it work. I'll just put the. It's actually cute. I'll just put the gloss later. I need to film an outro. Okay, I think that's it, Gwen's. That's my struggles. That's the pros and cons of my 30 day vegan challenge. It is a challenge. Challenge is the appropriate word for it. So I think that's about it. That's all I wanna do. If you like this video, I'm just trying to think what else. Oh. If you guys are doing your own health and fitness, let me know. And if you've been vegan or are vegan, let me give me some advice. I know for sure the meal prep. That's key. And that will solve a lot of my problems. And it's a mental game. Health, being healthy is mental than physical. Because the physical is easy. You can run. You can work out, you can walk, but breaking those food habits of, for example, drinking pop and eating fried chicken, that's the hardest part of any fitness journey. But if I do end up eating fried chicken, am I, am I going to beat myself up for it? 
no but I don't want to do it anytime soon so that's a struggle guys that's a struggle that's the real struggle and I'm still I'm still here I'm still doing it I'm still vegan for that time and I'm proud of myself you have to pat yourself in the back for those accomplishments that you have and cannot beat yourself up all the time otherwise it's just you're just gonna be miserable and life's too short to be miserable I think that's about it if you guys like this video press that like button and subscribe for more different kinds of videos that I have. I love makeup, but I'm a multifaceted person. I also love to read. I love to do story time and spread whatever knowledge I've accumulated in almost 35 years on this planet Earth. I want to do story times too of the struggles that I've had. I just realized I didn't do any highlighter. I don't even have any highlighter on me right now. I guess you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use, oh, do I have highlighter in here? I don't. I'm gonna use the bronzer, I guess. Should I bronze? Since I wanna pan this. See how easily distracted I get. Let me just do that, because I love this bronzer. But yeah, just take it easy if you're on this journey, because even if you stumble, you get up again. And that's what I've been doing. Stumbling, getting up. Stumbling, getting up. But I really want this to be the last time that I have. Is I really, really want to reach my goal of my most fit self. Fitness and happiness really go hand in hand. And those are the two. I have a lot of goals. But yeah, those are one of the top goals that I have and this is the finished look <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> yeah I think that's about it guys um I hope you like it as I've said before subscribe like share whatever you want to do but would love to hear from you and that's about it see you in my next video bye